The world's indigenous peoples are the best guardians of nature and among those indigenous peoples there are more than a hundred uncontacted tribes around the world. They are tribal and indigenous peoples who have no regular contact with mainstream society and uncontacted tribes live in the Chaco forest in Paraguay, uh, also in India and in West Papua and the majority of uncontacted tribes live in the Amazon rainforest. They are living on and protecting the most biodiverse places on Earth. It's incredible. If you look at satellite imagery, you'll see that their lands are islands of green, in many cases surrounded by deforestation. And they're protecting those lands because they depend on their, those lands for their survival. They have done forever and they will continue to depend on those lands for their survival. Uncontacted tribes, of course, can't communicate directly with us, but they do speak to us in a way. They show clearly that they don't want contact with outsiders by, for example, uh, leaving cross spears on forest paths or by pointing bows and arrows up towards passing plains. And this right of theirs to live in the way that they choose must be respected. It's a matter of life or death for uncontacted tribes. They're the most vulnerable peoples on the planet and any invasions into their land could wipe out whole peoples through violence or through disease to which they have little immunity. In Brazil at the moment, what we're seeing is a situation where President Bolsonaro has virtually declared war on Brazil's indigenous peoples, uncontacted tribes and indigenous peoples who do have regular contact with mainstream society. President Bolsonaro, with his racist rhetoric and with his actions and attempts to change the law, to make it possible to invade and steal indigenous people's land, is committing genocide. This is not something of the past or a threat for the future. This is a genocide happening right now and it threatens to wipe out uncontacted tribes and destroy indigenous peoples nationwide. Survival International has been fighting alongside indigenous peoples around the world for more than 50 years, helping them defend their lands and protect their lives. And now is no different for uncontacted tribes around the world and indigenous peoples more generally. Now is a pivotal moment for the survival of indigenous peoples and for that matter, for the survival of our planet. Indigenous peoples are our best allies, by far our best allies in the fight against climate change. So we really need more people around the world to be taking urgent action right now in order to allow the survival of indigenous peoples around the world and the survival of our planet.